you know uh, Mickey Mouse? Hey. Donald Duck. You Donald Duck? Yes, sir. Uh, Donald Duck. I was passing Mars this morning, and I suddenly remembered that this is my last real holiday of a very long time. And as I haven't seen Mickey Mouse since he did his first professional mouse job in 1928, I thought, I know, I'll stop off in London and see him and his friends. And so here I am, just in time for clock cleaners. Mice? Wouldn't it be fun to have a friend who was invisible to everyone except you? And supposing he was a pilot, rolling his eyes, flashing his teeth, filing his nails and swinging rum? Suppose it was Blackbeard's ghost. What manner of craft be the... Don't you get through? Hello. There you are. No charge. No charge? No, I'm not entirely without influence. There was once a little boy called Bowdley, and he was lost in a jungle. And one day, he met a cobra snake called Ka. Now, Ka was no ordinary hissing snake, but then Shere Khan, the tiger, was no ordinary striped tiger either. And Bowdley, the little boy, he wasn't an ordinary little boy. Trust in me. Do you know Jungle Book? Trust in me. In real life, of course, lions and tigers and snakes are somewhat different. Have you seen Vanishing Prairie or Bear Country or Living Desert? They're really very good true life adventure films. African Lion is another one. Shall we have a look? Here at the waterhole, many species come and go. There was once a gang called the Apple Dumpling Gang. They were three orphan children who discovered a gold mine and found in it the biggest gold nugget in the history of gold mining. Naturally, it had to be kept in the bank for safety. Everybody wanted it, especially Amos and Theodore, the hash knife gang. Now, Theodore and Amos devised a foolproof plan to steal the nugget. It was a wonderful plan. Nothing could go wrong, they thought. It's gonna be daylight before we even get in that bank. Morning. Morning. In the world of fantasy, anything can happen. Beds can fly, fishes can sing and dance, and human beings can talk happily underwater. And if you think that's a bit far-fetched, then you haven't seen bed knobs and broomsticks. And very nice, too. There's a brand new Disney film just been made called Return of the Big Cat. It'll be coming out at Christmas, so no one's seen it yet. But let's have a look at it now, and see what you think of it. Huh? Two children with supernatural powers. Two villains capture the children in order to exploit their gifts. They give them ice cream, build them a wonderful place to live in, and give them all the toys and goodies they could possibly hope for. Are the children deceived? Escape to which mountain? A dog on his own without a license can lead a very anxious life. He needs friends, even in the dog's home. Without a license and a name tag, who knows who a dog is? Dogs don't talk. Usually they don't sing, even about their problems. Except, of course, in Disney films, such as Lady and the Tramp. Put her at number four, Bill. Oh. It's from the Brigadier. He's in trouble again. And it's time to say goodbye to all of you. But I'll be seeing you again very soon. Next Saturday, in fact. Goodbye.